Hi everyone and welcome to our daily tarot reading for Monday the 8th of August. I'm going to use my Morgan Greer deck. We're just going to see what messages we need to hear for the day. But don't worry about time frames, time is fluid. And these messages may or may, or may not resonate and that's okay. Um, I'm recording from a car again because the little one's asleep. So let's see what we get through. We've got the star as our overall energy. The star comes through when we are entering this time of like release, of surrender. The star is um, really confirming how close your wishes are to come into fruition. But this is definitely a great cleanse. With the star, it's as if you are preparing to be more vulnerable and more open. Um, you know, she is authentic without any fear of being judged you know she is happy to be naked you know releasing the water from the jugs um that sounded way worse than I, I meant it I meant for it to sound so with the star it is as if you need to um let go of something you know let your emotions flow now let's see what all this is about because the star comes through when I know that we've got big dreams and goals which are manifesting which we are working on yeah we've got the judgment so interestingly we've got a lot of um very powerful energy today the star and the judgment both coming through this is where you are maybe being called to be open and be honest perhaps you're about to have a very honest conversation with someone whenever the judgment card comes up it's as if we um, are hearing this calling some kind of higher power or a high, or our higher self is trying to get through to us is trying to deliver a, a message with the judgment we're hearing this call and we are rising up and we are ready to start something um this is a card of rebirth so it might be that something is happening here where you are going through this major rebirth. Um, the Page of Pentacles also slipped out when I was shuffling. And the Page of Pentacles is new beginnings. It, it's slow though, you know, the Page of Pentacles likes to plan. So perhaps you are hearing this, uh, this big soul calling of something that you know would make you very happy, something which would be a wish fulfillment, and you are in this planning and preparation stage. The Page of Pentacles doesn't rush, so just because you've heard the call doesn't mean you have to act immediately. Um, it's as if we're being guided to spend a little bit of time planning and thinking about this before we do um, too much action here. So take your time with this page of pentacles because it seems that what you do now could last a long time. Now bear in mind I am getting this strong energy around communication and conversations. So don't be surprised if you do hear from someone. As I said about we got the lovers. So don't be surprised if you do hear from someone because the lovers is coming through as a connection. So it definitely seems there is an, an important connection here, which is developing. So um, with the judgment card, it may be that you and someone else are being kind of called towards each other um, and you are releasing whatever it is that has been um, kind of keeping you captive here with uh, the star card. It's like your emotions are flowing and you're able to release whatever emotions have been causing any like stagnancy. I love the energy coming through, but love is, it's all about commitment, connection, surrounding yourself with the right people, or maybe just the right person. Throwing some cards over the car. So what do we need to hear? What do we need to hear today? I almost feel as if this page of pentacles is representing everyone in this situation who's just taking their time, not not rushing, just being, being slow, but being very well prepared. Ten of Cups. This is two people working very well as a team, a true team effort. But both these people are prepared to put in the hard work and they know that, you know, some things take time. So it's as if this is two people who are being very patient, giving each other lots of time and space because they know that they make a very strong union. They know that they make a really good team. And with that star, I feel there's going to be an open and honest conversation with this person on how you can build something or make something together. With that Ten of Cups, um, 
there's this happy goal there's this happy ending which is um insight very achievable and spirit's saying look everything's gonna be okay you just need to support each other you know be there for each other queen of rods I think this person needs a bit of your inspiration right now. Like you may find that you do start to inspire someone because the more open and vulnerable you allow yourself to be, they're going to match this energy. They're going to match this effort. You know, they will start to feel confident being open and vulnerable as well. The queen, queen of rods is as if you are leading, um, as if you are setting this good example and this person's going to be following through here. And then we have the hanged man. I'm going to get one more card. Queen of Rods and the Hanged Man and the Nine of Pentacles. So interestingly, this is a change in mindset. The Hanged Man appears when someone's either changing their perspective or they are um, becoming unstuck. And with this Nine of Pentacles coming out as our last card, I really do feel like someone here is changing their mindset about you. Um, someone is seeing you in a different light they're seeing how confident and empowered you are in this nine of pentacles and this energy that you are go going giving off is getting them to change their mind about you so don't be surprised if someone here starts to communicate more openly and decides that they would like this union this partnership with you I definitely think that you are um, healing so much you're giving off this new energy this new vibe and someone is being really drawn to that openness that vulnerability it's very very attractive you know someone here feels like they would like um to move closer towards you so it's as if here there's a partnership which i feel is being reborn um you know two people kind of rising up to reconnect or to connect um and with this queen of rods it is you who sets this example. It's you who shows this person, look, it's okay to be vulnerable. And I do think the two of you are going to be planning and preparing something here for the future. Because, um, yeah, this person sees how abundant and successful you are. And they're definitely changing their mind about what they thought they wanted. Perhaps realizing they would quite like to take things to the next level. Okay, my loves, I hope you enjoyed today's reading. It was short but sweet, but I do hope this gave you insight on a current situation. If today's reading resonated with you, let me know in the comments um, because I can't wait to hear all about, you know, what your guys' experiences are. Um, but yes, yeah, sending you lots of love for today and I will see you back here soon.